Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. I want to show you everything I am eating today following the starch solution with using the principles of low calorie density. I have lost about 60 pounds eating this way so far. I just recalculated it and it was about 60 pounds so that's pretty cool. I've just got back from a three and a half week trip in India. Lovely to be back at home with a kitchen so I can make all my own food and I've got some very delicious things coming up today so I want to show you what I've got. Let's just get straight into it. Firstly, Romy is doing so much walking at the moment. She is trying to run today. She's getting ahead of herself and then she just keeps plopping on the floor. Anyway, I'm a busy mum of two and I want to show you every single day what I eat in order to continue losing weight. Um, yeah, this is easy. Um, you get to eat massive portions of food, never go hungry, no mad workouts, no calorie counting, portion control, any of that stuff. You just eat so much amazing, healthy, vibrant food. Um, and yeah, and I'm just so in love with this way of eating. Anyway, I have got pancakes for you this morning and Rami has already had two breakfasts this morning. She started off with sweet corn, pasta, and tomatoes and she's already had pancakes and grapes um anyway i want to show you what i'm having because i'm very very excited about it so sorry the microwave is on so oh firstly i need to say i have eaten a few things already that i just didn't show you because it was way too early so we're very jet lagged i was up since four o'clock in the morning with a uh, romi who's refusing to sleep um so i ate three pancakes already and i've eaten a persimmon already <laughs> So, um, anyway, I have e eaten the majority of a persimmon and I already had three pancakes this morning and I went out to Abe's school for a little session. They bought me vegan rice crispy things and a cup of tea um, and I could have definitely said, no, I don't want them, but I was hungry at the time and I didn't want to seem rude. So I had one little one of those. It was like, obviously not starch solution friendly. It was vegan, obviously, um, just chocolate with like rice crispy things. Um, so anyway, I had one of those and some tea. So just being honest, but I've got five pancakes here this is just a standard oat banana flaxy situation with water um if you want the recipe for these pancakes feel free to check out my first meal plan i think you can find it over on broccolimum.com anyway um so got my pancakes i've got a persimmon i have got about a cup of defrosted raspberries i've also defrosted some cannellini beans which i'm going to add in there as well and i'll show you what it looks like when it all comes together I've just put my pancakes together and I want to show you what I've got because this is a massive, gigantic feast. Oh, let me just adjust myself. Super low calorie density. And this is how you can eat pancakes and still lose weight. Obviously, what I made the pancakes out of was very important. Oats, bananas, flax, water, baking powder. Very, very simple and super low calorie density. Um, and then I've got a full persimmon, half an apple I found. I've got a cup of raspberries, a half a cup of cannellini beans, and I added some sneaky Alpro soya yogurt on there as well. So that is my gigantic feast. Super excited about this. Romy is trying to escape down here, so I'm blocking her with my knee. Anyway, I'm gonna go and enjoy this. And uh, yeah, this is how you guys can have pancakes and still lose weight. It's all a power of whole foods, plant-based diet, and low calorie density, baby. Love it. Hello guys, so I thought I'd just give you a little update. It is about quarter past 12. I think I had breakfast at like 10 or 11 or something. Uh, I don't eat it. Romy and I have just spent the last hour sorting out all of our holiday clothes. I don't eat it. We're currently playing with Play-Doh and she's trying to eat it because she thinks it's very funny. Um, anyway, we've sorted out so many clothes. Isn't it crazy how many clothes four people can actually use i mean it makes me sick how many clothes we've actually purchased a lot of it we've been given for the kids but there's just so many clothes and so much of it we just don't wear and it's just anyway but we had so much to sort out so we've just spent ages doing that i tell you what that is fantastic for getting that movement in if you don't have the ability to exercise every single day because you've got kids because of whoever knows what um you can just clean your house, literally cleaning your house, running after your kids. That is the kind of stuff that um, can really start to take, um, yeah, that can really start to make a difference every single day, day in, day out. Um, anyway, so we had a nice time cleaning out the clothes um, and I was vaguely contemplating. I was thinking about when I went out this morning to the school and I had that little crispy snack and I was thinking about why I accepted that little crispy snack because... I can tell you that about a month ago, before I went on holiday, I probably would have said no to that crispy snack, full stop. But I think going on holiday has made me a little bit more 
lenient with myself purely because a lot of the time there wasn't um, the perfect starch solution, 50-50 plate um, options. And therefore I kind of just got a bit flexible with having a little bit of that and having a little bit of that, having some stuff with oil in, having this. And you know what, that was absolutely fine in the moment because that's what I needed to do to get... What is it, babes? What? You want some more Play-Doh? All right. Muffin here wants some more Play-Doh, so let's go get it. <gasps> go, my love. There we go. Wow. Anyway, so, yes, so anyway, that has made me slightly more lenient, and I said yes to the crispy thing that I never would have said yes to. So, and also, sorry about the Romy squeaking, and also, there was a lot of um, sweet, oily, and just generally uh, overstimulating food that I ate while I was away. And so I was thinking about how to, I mean, I do crave veggies anyway, and I do love porridge and all that kind of stuff, but I was thinking about how to get back to good old starch solution style stuff in my brain um, and how I can, yeah, how I can do that in the best way. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a potato reset. It's something that I have done a very long time ago, uh, maybe like a couple of years ago now, and I did really enjoy it. Um, so I think I might attempt another potato reset just to set my taste buds. <coughs> what is it? Why don't you play? Why don't you play with this one? Nah. There are so many benefits of a potato reset. It doesn't have to be for the rest of your life. It's literally a short period of time, one to two weeks. Firstly, for me, I'm going to use it for resetting my taste buds um, from overstimulating foods. Um, it's also fantastic because, oh, because potatoes are incredible for weight loss and loads of people don't think they can eat potatoes for weight loss. So when you do a potato reset, you really do prove that it can be an incredible uh, weight loss food. Um, so anyway, so I think I'm going to do a little potato reset and let me know if you guys also want to join in at all. I could do a potato reset group party thing. Everyone get together for a week and eat loads and loads and loads of potatoes. I mean, I love potatoes. I missed potatoes while I was away. So also it's fantastic because I love eating potatoes and I really want to see how, don't eat it muffin. And I really want to see how many potato recipes I can come up with because if I come up with some good stuff, I might do like a little meal plan uh, for you guys um, if that is of interest. But let me know down below if you guys would also be interested in doing a potato reset with me. I might start it next week. Not quite sure. I'll let you know uh, when I've had a chance to think about it. But if you have struggled to get on the starch solution and you just want to get started in a really good way then a potato reset could be the perfect opportunity yeah a potato reset could be a really good way of, of doing that to jump in reset your taste buds and just get to start from fresh and sometimes that's a really good feeling um and it'll give you confidence that eating potatoes is incredible for weight loss because potatoes are the queen of weight loss so i'm going to think about my rules for the potato reset basically I'm thinking, obviously, potatoes, regular potatoes, any kind of potatoes, regular potatoes, sweet potatoes, all potatoes, obviously no oil. It's obviously whole food, plant-based, oil-free, starch solutions style stuff. Um, but, and I am going to allow myself loads of non-starchy veggies and mm, a few condiments just to make the meals super delicious. Now, if you wanted to go hardcore on this, you don't need to go condiments. You could cut out the sweetener. Uh, don't eat it. You cut out the sweetener, cut out the salt, cut out all that stuff. If you want to go hardcore and you want to make this work for you. Oh no, are you eating it? Ah. Ah. Uh, no. Uh, get it out. Get it out. Rami, you naughty sausage. <laughs> don't do what Rami's doing and eat Play-Doh because that's not going to work for anyone. Anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so if you wanted to go hardcore with this, you could have no condiments, no salt, nothing. But I am going to allow myself the luxury. She's very squeaky, but my point is I'm going to allow myself the luxury of condiments, soy sauce, salt, even a bit of maple syrup with sweet potato dishes, uh, just to like give it a little something. And also, uh, yeah, I think that'll be helpful for me. So potato, all the potatoes, non-starchy veg, no fruit, no beans. Um, let me know if you guys want to join in for a week of potato reset to get you on the right path, reset those taste buds and lose weight eating massive volumes of delicious food. I mean, who doesn't love potatoes? But anyway, if you want to join in, let me know and I'll try and set it up. 
I was like a Facebook group or something. I'm not very tech savvy, so I'll figure something out. Anyway, that's my thoughts. So I'm going to start that from next week because we've already done a full meal plan and everything to do with it. Uh, and I'm going to mull over some fun recipes as well. Now, you can keep it super simple and just have boiled potatoes. And that would the monotony of that would probably be incredible for weight loss. But... I don't want to do that because I like variety in my life. So I'm going to have fun and get creative and experiment with some fun potato related recipes. So anyway, just thought I'd take you through that thought process because when I had that little crispy thing this morning, it made me realize that I'm not mentally where I was a month ago and I want to get back to that place. I think Romy's very tired because she's losing her stuff. So I'm going to try and get her off to sleep and do some work. Anyway, I'm not hungry at all. My massive pancake stack filled me up to the actual brim and I'll probably eat in a couple of hours, like three o'clock. But anyway, chat to you later. It is lunchtime. It's about two o'clock and I am making some quinoa wraps. I'm super excited. I've never made quinoa wraps before, so we're gonna see how it turns out. It is garlic quinoa wraps that I have got going on. Romy's just chatting, so just, you know, like, forget that. <laughs> Um, anyway, I have got my quinoa wrap mixture all ready to go. I'm just heating this up. I'm going to be doing a recipe over on my Instagram. So if you want to go and check that out, please go for it. Um, anyway, I'm going to see how this works out. And the reason why I made that is because uh, I fancy some quinoa. I've got loads of quinoa and it needs using up. And oh my gosh, is it sunny? Ooh, I need to go out for a walk. That's very exciting. Anyway, um, I have some just opened the door to try and calm her down a little bit. She's very, very tired, but refusing to sleep. Anyway, the reason I made wraps is because I've got loads of this yummy hummus and I fancy turning it into some kind of wrap. So quinoa wrap, hummus, what else am I gonna put in there? To be fair, I actually haven't got a clue. But let's figure that one out together. So <clears throat> I know I've got some of these lovely ripe tomatoes that we need using, so I'm gonna use those. And I'm thinking, Let's go for some, I'm thinking a cab bit of cabbage. Let's do it, let's do a bit of cabbage. Just finely grated cabbage with some tomatoes and some hummus in my wrap. That sounds delightful. I would do a little bit of, um, I would do some grilled tofu in there because that sounds really good, but I cannot be asked to make it. Uh, anyway, so in, in terms of my veggies, I've obviously got my tomato, I've got my cabbage. I might cook up some extra cabbage on the side to really like bulk it out. Um, but I'm not feeling super hungry, like medium hungry. So I don't feel like I need loads of food and I could just do, oh no, that's a better idea. I'm gonna do a couple of carrots on the side uh, for that crunch factor. I always forget that crunch factor. Anyway, two carrots on the side. But yeah, I'll show you when I put it together. So these little quinoa wraps are turning out quite nicely now. I haven't tasted it, but they're looking really good. Look at these babies. And Romy would like to try some. And I'll tell you what, why don't we just crack one out and have a little taste? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, look, that is looking so good. There you go, Romster. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Let's just do a little dip of hummus together. Mmm. Oh, I tell you. That is actually delicious. Oh, my God. What a fantastic bread. Ah. Oh. Mmm. It's soft and fluffy. It does not taste like quinoa. Mmm. I added a clove of garlic. I think that's the game changer, guys. Oh, wow. Mmm. Right, I highly, highly recommend you go out and try these. Packed with protein, all whole foods, low fat, fantastic for weight loss, a great bread alternative. I tell you what you could do, if you slice this baby up and sprinkled a bit of lime on top with a little bit of extra salt and pepper or something and stuck it in the air fryer, that would be like tortillas. I'm gonna try that. But I tell you what, that is so good. Wow, wow, really, really good. And also, mm, I mean, Mm. So, I just did a cup of quinoa. I could eat that, um, like, literally instantly. I could eat a full cup of dry quinoa, no problem, uh, for a meal. But I have done, like, one, two, three, four, four, five wraps. 
and I still have that much mixture left. This is gonna give me like 10 wraps. I'm not gonna be able to eat that in one sitting. So this is fantastic in terms of volume. Anyway, highly recommend. Oh God, I need to flip this. Hold on, hold on, let's flip it. The only thing is, it does take a little while, obviously, to like make it and flip it. So if you do the big batch at the beginning of the week, and I'm gonna see if I can freeze these or put them in the fridge or something and make them last, then that would be perfect. But I tell you what, they're really, really tasty. Um, anyway, highly recommend. Let's see how... Oh, look at that, baby. Look how look how malleable that is. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to these wraps. And I've got uh, my tomato, cabbage. Uh, I've got some sauerkraut, which is cabbage, again. Um, and carrots on the side. So, and I've got the hummus. Anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes together. But definitely one for the books. <laughs> I did also want to say that my husband had pasta for lunch. The pasta that I made yesterday, that is extremely delicious. And he left the pasta out on the side. Yeah, do you know how dangerous that is? While I'm making this, I'm a little bit snacky. I've been having spoonfuls of the pasta. I mean, obviously there's worse things I could have, but I'm making a meal and I don't need it. So anyway, it's very naughty. I'm gonna pop it in the fridge, so I'm not tempted by this, but even people who've been doing eating this way, for like years, can still be tempted by stuff if it's left out, even if they're not even wanting it. So that is the power of having a clean environment. Obviously pasta is perfect, but I'm just giving it as an example. It was out and therefore I ate it. Same, um, same with loads of things. Anyway, so just saying, I'm gonna put this in the fridge so it doesn't tempt me, but I might have this for dinner. Let's see. The wraps are still cooking, but I have put my food together and I want to show you what I've got. So this is my feast. I am so excited about this. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So I've got four quinoa wraps here. I think the one cup of quinoa, one cup of dry quinoa is going to make probably about 10 to 12 wraps. So that's a really good amount, actually. Um, anyway, got my sauerkraut, my hummus, my cabbage, my tomato, and then my carrots on the side. So that is how I do hummus wraps, weight loss style friendly. And Romy's going to enjoy these with me as well. Anyway, um, I highly recommend trying out the quinoa wraps because they're absolutely delicious. Recipe will be over on my Instagram. Go and check it out. If you guys would like me to do more recipes over on YouTube, on here, let me know. Um, I need to try and balance my Instagram, YouTube stuff out. But let me know if you guys are desperate for some recipes, I can most certainly provide. It is 5.30 and I've just whipped up some lovely dinner. Uh, we are going vegetable heavy once more. Uh, remember my little boy Abe made our meal plan for this week and he created broccoli and cauliflower soup, which is just so adorable. Anyway, so it's actually incredibly delicious. So yay Abe. Anyway, I have got in here, what have I got? I've got an onion, I've got some leftover carrots, I've got two big potatoes, two huge heads of broccoli and a massive cauliflower and some stock obviously and I've just, and, and garlic and garlic obviously. Anyway, so I've just cooked all that together and just blended it up to make a yummy creamy soup. Um, and this is Abe's little portion here. I'm just cooling it down for him. Romy's fast asleep, so I need to wake her up so she can eat some food. Anyway, so there's loads of veggies in here. It's gonna be super filling, super delicious. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do myself a massive bowl of this, see how I feel. And if I'm still hungry, I'll either have some more soup, but if we run out of soup, I may have some pasta. So, mm, Abe and I were just having a balloon competition, weren't we, Abe? Where we're not allowed to drop it on the floor. And to be fair, that was really fun and actually a great workout. So I wanted to show you what we've got for dinner. Abe's got some yummy, yummy soup right here. This is your creation, isn't it, Abe? Do you want to tell everyone what's in the soup? What flavour is it? Broccoli cauliflower soup. That is a beautiful flavour. I want to show you my soup. So this is my gigantic portion. When you have a soup that's high in veggies, you need a lot of soup. Anyway, so I've got loads of soup here and I always like to have a little crunch factor. Well, not crunch factor, but something else going on in there. And tomato is generally my go-to. So I just chopped off a nice tomato and stuck it on the top. So anyway, that is going to be my dinner tonight. I don't think I'm going to be hungry after this, to be fair, um, but I'll let you know if I eat anything else. And also, it's Friday night tonight and tonight is... Fridays are... What are Fridays, eh? In this movie night! It's family movie night. So I think I might just do everyone a little hot chocolate. Uh, I'm really in the mood for something chocolatey, so we may do some hot chocolate. I will keep you updated. Oof. So I have just finished my soup and it was absolutely delicious. Um, but I'm so stuffed, like actually so stuffed. If you want to be 
100% satisfied after a meal. A starchy soup is the way to go. And obviously, I mean for weight loss. If your goal is weight loss and you want to be satisfied, go for the starchy soup. You know, it's cheap. It's fantastic. You can make a massive batch. It can last for days. You could literally make them for every single lunch for the entire week. Soups are just incredible. You can put loads of beans in there, lentils in there, potatoes in there. You could do pasta soups. You can really mix it up. Um, but yeah, it was so, so, so filling for the amount of calories that you could actually get into it. It was basically loads of veg and like half a potato, maybe like a full potato. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, anyway, super, super, super full. So I was going to make a hot chocolate, but actually I have zero room inside for anything else. So no hot chocolate. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was it. So no more food for me today. And uh, it was a lovely day of eating, but I'm very tired, still feeling a bit jet lagged and it's like six o'clock. So last night I did fall asleep at six o'clock. I'm starting to feel tired. Anyway, I'm going to head to bed at some point, but we're going to go and watch a lovely family movie first. I'm going to try and get some editing in, but I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are excited for the potato reset that I have coming up hopefully next week. And let me know if you want to get involved. Anyway, chat.